Hi there, Interghost here, and I'm going to start a brand new tag, and it's called My Original Tag. So yeah, uh, there's a few tags going around at the moment and I'm really enjoying watching people do video response. I know everyone's locked in and it's a really good time to share your memories, uh, share some of your gaming um, items, that sort of thing. So I haven't done this for a long, long time, years. I've, I'm going to actually start a tag off and see where it goes and see if anybody wants to answer the questions. Uh, this one's called my original tag and basically this is going to be 10 items that you own from back in the day which are your original items um, no cheating by bringing in items which you used to own and you sold and then you bought back later on um, as an adult or um, teenager or whatever but um, these have got to be ones which you actually owned back in the day you brought them from the shops brand new and uh, you've still got them today so the first one I'm going to do is uh, action figure. Uh, like I said, I've got loads of figures which I've bought back from what I used to have. I used to be really into uh, He-Man figures back in the day, but I remember selling them all off. Star Wars, they all went. Transformers, uh, Ghostbusters, Turtles, Thundercats. But I've sold them all. Uh, one of the uh, rare... <laughs> figures that I still own from when I was younger is this actual um, Hulk it's a proper Marvel 1990 and it's got a thing on the back of it where you can move his arms up and down and you can also make him squeeze and it came with a, a boulder which you could crush and he also had some metal bar I used to put into his grips and then he could um, bend the metal bar and yeah so I got that when I was about 10 years old and uh, yeah I've still got them today uh, not one of the big series but like I said I sold all of those when I was younger car boot sales that sort of thing but that's my original Hulk figure from when I was about 10 second one uh, is a soft toy or teddy or a plushie uh, however you want to call them now the one I'm going to uh, show is one which I think is my first ever soft toy and it is this owl here and as you can see he's lost an eye, uh, I've stitched on his arm, yeah, he's got stitching along the back here so one arm is flat and one is one's sort of horizontal and one's vertical, uh, yeah Ollie, Ollie the owl, so and a stitching on his feet as well so that's my original teddy from when I was a baby so that's the first one I ever had still got it next one is uh, a cassette game that you had from when you was younger now I understand if people haven't got cassette games if they are uh, um, if they're too young to have the cassettes but uh, you can skip over this one if you want Again, I've sold off most of my cassettes. I used, to, well, I still am a big ZX Spectrum fan, and I had hundreds and hundreds of uh, original cassettes which I sold on as a bundle or gave away to people. Uh, and I've bought them all back re uh, quite recently, so I have got all the ones which I used to have. But this is an original one from when I was younger, and as you can see, it's got a photocopied case, and this is for Pajama Rama. And back in the day, we used to have a lot of um, backup copies going on. And uh, I opened this up earlier, and I've actually got my original uh, little bit of paper on the back of a, an envelope saying what was on the, uh, the cassette. So I've got like Automania, Venlaw's Lair, Spy Hunter, Everyone's a Wally, Raid, Turmoil, Pajama Rama, Kong 2, Blood. Uh, Brian Bloodaxe, Starion, Birds and the Bees, Underworld, Alchemist, uh, I don't know what that says, and 3D Tank Jewel. So, yeah, that was a cassette from back in the day. We had a lot of these uh, backup copies going on, and um, that's an original. And I just, that brings back a lot of memories, just that uh, photocopied case there. And um, yeah, also I kept hold of these ones when I got rid of the bundles of all the originals I used to have. So that's my cassette from back in the day. Next one is a cartridge based game from back in the day. So this could be on any system, Nintendo, Sega, 
uh, Atari, anything you want. Now my one will have to be uh, Super Mario All-Stars on the Super Nintendo and the reason I'm choosing this one is because this is what came with my console um, back in the day it was given to me for Christmas uh, it's my probably my best present I've ever received and I've still got the console and the box and this is the game which came with it I got this one and I got Pugsy's scavenger hunt and uh, I've never got rid of this game uh, a lot of my Super Nintendo games, you know, you trade them in, get new ones, but I've always kept the original, um, and it's probably one of the best games on the Super Nintendo. And to get this as a Christmas present, I think I've said this before, but it had like four or five games already on there. Um, and when you only get sort of one game every six months or something, to get something like this with five games on it, it's just a bonus. So that's my uh, cartridge game. Uh, next one keeping in the line of games uh, is any CD based game so this can be PC, PlayStation, Saturn, uh, Dreamcast, anything which takes a CD um, as the physical format. Now the one I'm going to choose is a PC game. I thought I'd go a little bit different and uh, this is one I bought from, where would I buy this from? Might have been Electronics Boutique, I can't quite remember, it might be H&B, but it's Simon the Sorcerer 1 and 2, the uh, the talk, full talkie edition, so that's up there, so uh, I think I played the originals which were uh, just text based and then I saw this in the shop and it had a talkie one, so it had the CD inside it and you could actually listen to the characters talk, um, also had a, it's in a massive box, I don't know if you can see that, but it came with a free limited edition t-shirt. Unfortunately, I don't have the t-shirt anymore. Uh, when I was younger, I used to wear the hell out of it and it got all faded and got holes in the arms and stuff. So eventually I threw it away. Uh, but yeah, this is my Simon the Sorcerer 1 and 2 on PC, which I still have. Um, CDs are all in there, the instruction booklets and everything. And uh, yeah, I just love that box. and I love the art and it's a really cool game. So coming away from games, the next one is um, anything music related, so a cassette, a record or a CD. So it doesn't have to be your first one, um, just something from back in the day which you still own, your original. And um, the one I'm going to choose is Run DMC versus Jason Nevis, it's like that. Now the reason I'm going to choose this one is because I remember this. I've, I must have been a teenager. When does this come out? 97. So yeah, I would have been 17 when this um, originally came out. And this was in the um, music charts for weeks and weeks. And it was on the radio all the time. And eventually I bought it from Virgin for 3 .99. And yeah, it's just a, a classic song from back in the day. And it always reminds me of uh, driving around in my mate's car and listening to dance songs and that sort of stuff. Uh, it's just a classic one. I was going to find my um, the first record I ever bought was Deep Deep Trouble, The Simpsons, but I couldn't find that. And also my first cassette I ever bought was um, uh, Super Sonic, which was a Sonic the Hedgehog song on cassette. And I don't know where that's gone either. So I chose this one. I've uh, got good memories of it and it's a classic and if you were around in 97 in the UK you would have heard this being played over and over again. Number seven is a board game from back in the day. Um, if you haven't got a board game, card game, any sort of game which isn't a video game really and this is again I've sold off a load of these throughout the years but there are a few which I've kept and my original board game from back in the day is Space Crusade. Now this one and uh, Hero Quest. I didn't have Hero Quest as a kid, but I had this one, and my friends used to have Hero Quest. We used to play this all the time, and uh, I even opened it up earlier. And inside, just take the lid off. There's a scrap of old paper, <laughs> which has got my friends and I. Um, we put all our scores on there. So like. Uh, got my friend Paul, you've probably seen him in some of my videos. Still got your record here Paul, so if you want to pick up from where you le left off, 
uh, playing as the aliens or the marines. Uh, my friend Dan, who used to live across the road from me, and my score on there. Uh, yeah, still in the box. Still waiting to be picked up from where we left off. But yeah, so that was uh, Space Crusade by MB Games. Uh, an amazing board game, and I just wish they made more of these sort of games. And uh, yeah, brilliant. Next one is a magazine or a comic from back in the day, one which you still own, an original. Uh, and this one springs to mind. It wasn't my favourite series. My favourite series of comics uh, or magazines were probably Crash Magazine or Your Sinclair NMS, Nintendo Magazine System. But this one is one I bought one year, just before Christmas in 1993. So I would have been 13 years old. And it's the A to Z of Super Nintendo. So it just had tons and tons of great articles on games for the Super Nintendo and I can remember reading through this over and over and over and over again and just looking at all the screenshots and looking at all the games that I wanted to get and like I said um, we only used to get a game every few months so you had to really get into a game and then set your heart on that one game and then go for it so reading through this really helped you to choose a game and then at the back there was sort of um, all the other ones which weren't featured so it had A to Z of all the games which were out up until 1993 in that one magazine and uh, yeah I just remember countless times reading through that and I still got it love it number nine is a book from back in the day now as you probably know, I'm a big reader. I like things like um, Terry Pratchett. It was what I was reading back in uh, my teen years. Um, rereading them now, but the book I'm going to choose is probably the first sort of proper novel I chose to read myself as a kid. Um, apart from sort of Enid Blyton books and you know kitty type of books, pick this one up. I remember, I think it was from a charity shop, but it's Mrs. Frinsby and the Rats of Nymph and it's the story of, there's a cartoon version of it uh, just called The Secret of Nymph, I think and it's all about a family of rats and um, no, family of mice, sorry that have to go and get help from rats who know how to use electricity and that sort of thing and it's uh, yeah, just one of those books which I must have read this when I was, I don't know, 8 or 9 or something like that and it's just been sat on my shelf ever since. I will read it again one day. Uh, but yeah, just that cover just brings back loads of memories. And uh, like I said, it's one of the first books I actually chose myself. No one told me I had to read it. Picked it up, read it all the way through and loved it. So that's my book. Now finally, this is quite a broad one, but it's uh, any merchandise uh, you've got from back in the day. So this could be cups, glasses, leaflets, uh, posters or freebies you've got uh, in the post. So any sort of merchandise for any subject you want which you got as a kid but you've kept hold of and um, means something to you. Now my one is this and it's a bit of publicity which was sent through about Tomb Raider Chronicles and it says only open in the event of my death. And this was promoting obviously Tomb Raider Chronicles. This came through my door when I was younger and uh, back then I never really got any post so to get this I was like oh what's this all about? Opened it up and inside this is my favourite bit of merchandise I've ever received and you got a letter from Lara Croft talking all about the new adventure. You also got some diary entries about what was going to happen. I'll just go through these quickly. Another one there, you've got some sort of covered up screenshots um, promoting the game. Although I thought this was amazing, I wasn't expecting it and I was hyped up about getting the game as well. I love the Tomb Raider series and then finally you got a signed photo on shiny glossy photo paper says remember me love Lara Croft because obviously she she went missing in action so presumed dead so yeah got that photo as well 
and then yeah so I received that as a kid in the post I was already hyped up by the game that came through hyped me up even more and uh, I think it'd be amazing if companies did that sort of thing more often I just think it's a really clever idea really good bit of promotion I'm not sure how many people would have kept hold of that um, so I'm guessing it's probably quite rare but it's something I've always kept I've moved around house to house and it's always been in with all my gaming stuff and uh, yeah I just love that bit of uh, promotional um, merchandise there so there we go that's the 10 original items from my youth and um, yeah if you want to do this please feel free to do it it is sort of an open tag I am going to tag a load of people now uh, just to get the ball rolling um, I'm sure a lot of these people won't do a video response but uh, if you haven't got time to do a video response just leave your comments below guys and let me know what your answers are uh, it'd be great just to read them but like I said anyone can do this tag if they want to do it I'd like to see it going as far as possible uh, but these are the people I'm going to tag. I'm going to have to tag uh, the boys. Uh, so that's Shock16, um, Gashead Steve, Colossal Vids, and Metropolis. Uh, my group, my posse, you're all tagged. Go and do the video. Uh, next few, if I can't do Metropolis without doing uh, Retro Red Steve. So, Steve, I want to see your response to this. Uh, Van Burnman. Uh, you did a video response to my last one and I really enjoyed it it's great to see you doing that I think you enjoyed doing the last one so I thought I'd do this one as well hopefully you've got some bits and pieces from when you were younger uh, electric adventures Tony uh, I know like me you're probably a bit of a hoarder you might have a few things from when you were younger love to see them and uh, let's see what you've still got from your original collection uh, Jim Monkey Spaz uh, 5000 hopefully you've still got some stuff I know you've got a tendency to sell everything so I don't know if you've got any original bits and pieces hanging around that'd be good to see your response uh, on a retro tip love to see your video uh, if you've got time to do one that'd be brilliant and uh, I'm sure you must have some original bits still in your collection so I'd love to see that one too and finally uh, if you've got time mate Pixel Game Squad, Riff. Uh, I know you're struggling to do some videos at the moment because you can't get out and about and uh, hopefully this will give you some inspiration to make a video response and it might push the tag over to the other side of the pond and we might get some American responses which would be really cool. And my final one is Alex Bluetonic 78 I think that's right, I think I got the numbers wrong. No, Blue Tonic 78 Alex, if you want to do it as well, again, push it over to the uh, other side of the pond. I don't know how much of your original English uh, nostalgic items went along with you or if you just stored them at your parents' house, but it'd be great to see some of your um, original items. So there we go. That is my original tag, and hopefully I'll get some responses. And until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers.